Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys a full face of BH Cosmetics. At least I thought I bought a full face until I always remember that I need something for my brows. And I didn't grab the primer or the setting spray just because it was mattifying and I'm not a dry girl. I mean, I'm not an oily girl whatsoever. So I didn't really want to use those. So I did use my own primers and my own brows. And then I forgot a little couple other things like mascara and eyeliner. And other than that, every, it, it is all affordable. So everything I'm using is still affordable. Um, but like I said, I did forget a few things, but so we are going to go ahead and get in to, to get in with, we're going to go ahead and get in to playing with all of this BH Cosmetics makeup. Okay. So first things first to prime my lid, to prime my lid, I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics Studio Concealer, Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. And I'm just going to take this tiniest bit of this because... A little bit of this concealer does go a long way. I do like this concealer. As you know, I've been playing with a few BH Cosmetics products for a while now. I'm just gonna take a brush, this little concealer brush like this and just blend it in. I like doing this because you can also clean up your brows just a tiny bit without it being like too harsh and too dramatic. So now the next thing we're gonna do is the palette that I picked up for this video, because as you guys know, I have their Midnight Festival palette. Excuse me, but that's like a super, super colorful eyeshadow palette. There's no like transition colors or anything in it. So I did go ahead and pick up, so what I, I did, I don't know if this is like a week, like a collection they came out with, but this is their Weekend Vibes Mimosa palette. The palette, the palette, the palette itself is just the Mimosa. There goes the, and this is just what it looks like. Now, I was intrigued to buy this palette because as you all know that I received a colored ring palette that was also called Mimosa Vibes or whatever the case was. And I was like, that is not a Mimosa palette. Like when I think of Mimosa, like I do not think of browns and bronzes. Like that's not what I think of when I think of Mimosa. This is what I think of when I think of Mimosa. So I was really just, intrigued and i pressured myself to buy this so i guess the first shade i'm gonna go in with is we love brunch and i'm just gonna go ahead and take that all over my lid kind of to set it down to set all to set down that uh what am i trying to say to set down that primer concealer what we primed our lids with so yeah, i'm just gonna take that shade and set that down okay and then after i do this before i forget i am gonna uh, put on some elf eye tapes. Okay, so I kind of have on a shirt that matches this palette perfectly. So it's just, what do I want to go in with? I think I'm gonna take Sunny in my crease. Here we go again, Allie, can I ever just do something simple? I'm gonna take Sunny in my crease and just start buffing that out. And I'm gonna use my Fayon brush, this white haired brush. So the next shade I'm gonna go in with is the shade OJ right here. And we're gonna take that in our crease as well, but we're still gonna leave a lot of that yellow peeking through. I'm gonna use this Tetra and Ipsy brush and start building that up in my crease as well. This orange, this OJ color is like the perfect yellow orange shade. Okay, so now I'm being drawn to these two colors, maybe even this one. I think I'm gonna take guava and pack that on my lid and up into my crease just a little bit. If there's one thing I love about BH Cosmetics is how 
blendable their eyeshadows are and how affordable they are. Like their eyeshadows are so affordable, but the quality of them is so good. This is what we're looking like so far. I have absolutely no complaints about how this eyeshadow palette is performing or working, especially for the colors to be so vibrant. I think that they're, they're not blending away. They're not applying patchy. I am able to pack them on and blend them out. I remember when I tried to do a similar look like this with one of the NYX eyeshadow palettes, like everything literally just blended away. I would pack and pack and pack and everything would just blend away and it was very, very frustrating. So to finally have an eyeshadow palette that I could use like this is great. Now obviously any look that you do that's more colorful is going to require some blending, some patience, and some work, but that is with any eyeshadow palette. You guys have seen me use my ABH eyeshadows, my Tati eyeshadows, and I have to blend and work with them. But I mean, that's just a part of makeup, so it's not like it's a huge deal. Okay, so I'm definitely feeling these, feeling this vibe. Like this gives me Texas summer sunsets. If you're from Texas, you know exactly what I mean. It's like a cotton candy sky. You got all these beautiful colors going on. The only color that would be missing is this shade right here. But I don't know where I would add that, so I don't know. Okay, so I was really debating on doing a wing liner, but I don't think I'm going to. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. Oof, that is so pretty. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna curl and apply mascara. I'm gonna do that off camera because like I said, my mascara is not BH Cosmetics. All right, you guys, so now that we have mascara on, we are gonna go in and apply some lashes. And I just have these lashes in the, in the style of D301. I could have swore these had a name, but I guess that they didn't. So I'm gonna measure these and whatnot, and we're gonna get these put on. These look like they're gonna be way too wide for my eyes, like super wide. And I kind of like these because I don't, I've never tried a pair of lashes where they flare, like they're more flared in the center and shorter on the outer and the inner corner. So I was like, hmm, I'm intrigued. Let's try those. Okay, so I think just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna cut off one little notch. Let me try again, because I feel like... Yeah, yeah, I don't want it to close off my eye. What do y'all think? Might actually... I think that these actually fit my eye perfect, so I'm not gonna trim them. We'll go ahead and get these bad boys on. They didn't have, I will say this, they didn't have the best selection of lashes, and these definitely look like plasticky type lashes, if that makes sense. They're actually pretty. I like these. I've never owned a pair of eyelashes, like never worn, never owned a pair of eyelashes that are like this style before. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this last one on and then we can finally move on with the rest of our face. The only thing I don't like about eye tapes is because they make me realize how an even my face actually is because I always just follow this outer line, like my outer corner and place the eye tapes. And this side always ends up higher than this side, but that's okay. Kind of looks symmetrical because my face isn't symmetrical. I don't think anybody's face is. I think everybody has an eye that might be bigger than the other or an eye that's higher than the other. Somebody's like my nostrils, like I feel like this one's bigger than this one. Like I don't think anybody's face is fully symmetrical. Also on my Cupid's bow, this side of my lip is more straight and this one's a little bit more rounded. So I don't know, comment down below. What are some weird quirky things about your face that you've realized aren't symmetrical? Are, uh, also, one of my thighs is bigger than the other. Like no matter how, like they both get toned at the same time or like, they, but like one of them is just like, the way it's built is just like bigger than the other. I always thought that that was a funny. Okay, so these eyelashes are definitely, like the style's definitely different for me, but I like it. Like I actually like really like this style of eyelashes. So what we're gonna go in with now 
is foundation and obviously i'm using my bh cosmetics naturally finished foundation this is a tad too light for me this is in the shade medium beige and then if you guys didn't know or don't follow me on instagram or my facebook business page i'll have both those up right now i am selling these beauty sponges now they're just like any other sponges you wash with soap and rinse with water and these actually get really big you guys like this is i have multiple colors this is wet and then this is dry and they're super bouncy and when i was washing it today like it washed super easy i think i only had to apply soap twice usually i have to apply soap like three or four times with my other sponges but I only had to apply soap twice and all the makeup came out of it. So yeah, these are $4. Shipping is three no matter where you are. So, well, US. I only ship US. So no matter where you are in the US, shipping is $3. So let's go ahead and start applying this. Like I said, I did already prime my face with my favorite primer combination, which is the Pretty Fil the Pretty Filter Glossy Skin Balm by Touch and Soul and my Urban Decay Optical Illusion. And then I added some color corrector to help with the redness, just a little bit. Oh, purple, for whatever reason, my breakouts always have like a strong purple undertone to them. I'm gonna add a little bit more in these areas. Like I said, just because I'm breaking out pretty bad and I'm not sure why. I did use a rose face wash yesterday and it did seem to kind of calm down the irritation of them a little bit, so. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go in with is concealer and a good friend, another friend that I met on Instagram, I'll put her Instagram handle up here. She get reached out to me and was like, if you just put some on the inner, I'm doing very little cause this goes a long way in the outer corner, it really, really helps. I'm only gonna put some on my chin because I feel like when I put it up here, I can look like I have a mustache and I don't like that. So instead of doing the big old triangles I usually do, even though, like I said, this concealer goes such a long way. I'm just gonna apply it right underneath our eyes instead of doing the whole triangle thing. There's something weird going on right there. She was telling me it'll help with the creasing and it'll brighten up more brighten up underneath here more than doing the whole triangle thing so i'm trying it out today so now what i'm going to do is for under my eyes i add i do have to take a different powder so i'm going to use my makeup revolution powder and we're just going to set that and always blend out your creases before you set them i think i do like that a lot more than the big old triangles Okay, so the next thing I am gonna go in with is I do have this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Matte Finish Pressed Powder. And this is just what this looks like. So what I'm gonna do to set the rest of my face is I'm just gonna take a big powder brush and we're just gonna go in with this. Wow, that was dark. Who saw that, that how much darker it was on my skin than in this palette. I mean, in this compact, look at that. But that's why I got it. Cause I was like, okay, I know the foundation is way too light for me. So, okay. So there's just like something super funky going on with my nose right now. And I'm not sure what it is, but we're going to go ahead and go in and finish up our lower lash line. And I'm not going to do too much. So what I want to do is I'm just going to take this shade Vibes right here because it kind of just reminds me of all of them mixed together. And I'm going to push that up against my lower lash line. I'm going to use this Alamod Flat Defining Brush. Oh, that shade I'm using is called Vibes. I'm going to go in with my Carbon Black Volumin or my Voluminous Carbon. This is my mascara I've been using. L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black or Carbon Black. Yeah, Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara is gonna go ahead and apply this to the lower lashes. Now moving on to bronzer. I do have this Brilliant Bronzer that they sell on their website. Website, they were out of the lighter shades, so I had to get this one, okay, which is the shade Coco Cutie. And I mean, it's out there. Like, can't argue that, it's out there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be very light-handed with this. So 
going to go ahead and take that product off my nose. Because I don't know why it's being... I think it's because I'm sunburned. The skin is acting weird right there today. Excuse me, Mom. What? I hit my hand. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you bleeding? Yes. You're bleeding? Yes, Mom. Let me see. You're not bleeding. Oh. I love you. I love you, Ethan. Mommy, I need a kiss. You want a kiss. I love you. I love you. Okay, so I did have to take the product off my nose because it's sunburned from mowing the yard yesterday. And product's just acting super weird on it. But I did forget to go in on my waterline. And I'm just taking a nude eyeliner. You could take any nude eyeliner that you have. And I'm just going to put that. And you can see the difference. Like this eye just looks way more open than this eye. That's why I love a good nude. Y'all, I almost forgot about my inner corner. So for my inner corner, I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to take the shade Champagne right here and put that on my inner corner. It's a little bit more glittery than I expected it to be. So for blush and highlight, I'm going to take my Glowing in Grease palette. And for blush, I'm going to mix Mykonos and Paros. Okay, so for highlight, I'm gonna go ahead ooh, and I'm gonna take Athens and Milo's. Now, last but not least, it's time to go in with the lips. So, for lip liner, I'm gonna take my lip liner in the shade Blushing by LA Girl. And then for the lip color, I grabbed, where's it go? Oh. I grabbed their Cashmere Cream Comfort Liquid Lipstick or Comfort Lipstick. And I got mine in the shade T. I don't know. This might be way too cool tone for this eye look. But I mean, we're gonna try it. Well. Hmm. This is definitely, definitely a nude lip. So, but this is what the full face of BH Cosmetics looks like. Okay, but you guys, I can't wear this lip with this eye. Like it's just, it's really not vibing for me. So I'm gonna change it up just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my Milani lip liquid lipstick and this one is in the shade Allure. Okay, so for some people this might be a little bit too much, but I like like a matchy eye with a matchy lip and my matchy shirt. Like that's my vibe. Okay, so for the rundown, let's go ahead and talk about it. So as you guys know, I really do love and like BH Cosmetics eyeshadows. I feel like they're very pigmented and very blendable and the quality is just there for the price that you pay. This palette is $14 and you get 16 eyeshadows in it. So that's less than a dollar per eyeshadow. So that's not that that's not bad. I think that this is a really good palette. I like it. If you want to try out BH Cosmetics, I recommend trying out their eyeshadows, any of their powder products, really. I didn't get to see. So with this lipstick, it's not one that's gonna dry down completely matte, such for like the lip that I have on right now. But it is, it's like like it's like a lipstick. Like literally like a matte lipstick in a tube, only it's in wand form. That's what, exactly what this reminds me of. And it doesn't claim to be matte. It doesn't claim to dry down. It's called a cashmere cream. So that's basically what it is, is it is a um, lip, is just a matte lipstick in cream form, but it's really good. Um, I had it on my hand the other day. I will have to play with this more and let you guys know more about what I think about it. But like I said, this is just a super cool tone, like stone gray type of color. So it didn't really match this eye look. And that's the only reason I didn't go with it today. Not because it didn't feel good. It actually felt really moisturizing and creamy on the lips. Kind of like, kind of like if you had cotton between your lips, like that's what this felt like on the lips. 
the next thing to talk about is i really thought that this was going to be way too dark and way too red but it's really not it actually came out really nice as a contour shade um especially on me and somebody of my skin tone i don't think that this will work for anybody that's maybe medium to deep or tan to deep but definitely a medium skin tone can get away with this so yeah i really do like this and it blended out really good because i did go in heavy handed at first like you guys saw and then it kind of just blended itself away as i started to work with it and blend with it but like i said the only shade that they really have in stock right now is coco cutie so if you do get it just be very light handed with it the next thing i did pick up is this studio pro matte finish pressed powder so i'm not mad at this and it definitely corrected like the, sh the foundation being a tad bit too light for me this went in and added some color back and that's why i did pick up this shade other than that i really like it it doesn't it doesn't like my face doesn't feel dry and my face definitely looks matte and kind of like super smooth everywhere that i put this so i'm not mad at this definitely got to keep playing with it and see like what else it does i would love to do like just like spot conceal one day and then go over it like just to set it in place with this and i bet that that would look super pretty of course i'm sure you could get more coverage with a sponge like this or something but for today because i did have on the foundation and things like that i didn't need the full coverage so i did just dust this lightly all over my face with a big powder brush and it worked beautifully Okay, so as you guys know, these two products were in my favorites recently. So not recently, recently, like maybe April, maybe April favorites or March favorites. This was in there and I really, really like these products. You guys are super full coverage, super blendable. Now this is, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm more normal to dry and during the summertime definitely just more normal but this if you don't use the right products can get super duper oily so if you are an oily girl and you want to try this out i would definitely use all the mattifying products that you could if you're like on the dry dry side you might actually really like this and as you guys saw in the video this goes a really really long way i really like it a little bit of this goes a really long way is what i'm trying to say i really like it super brightening super full coverage this is going like this is this is probably like my favorite product out of everything aside from this now you guys know i love this this has been in my favorite mul favorites multiple times just because like this is just like the perfect palette like especially if you do makeup on people you have your light medium deep light medium deep like i love this palette the highlighters are beautiful the blushes are beautiful pigmented and blendable so obviously, ooh, obviously the last thing i have on from bh cosmetic are my lashes and i can't say much about them like i said they definitely do look like more plasticky and on the cheaper side i believe i paid two or four bucks for them can't remember exactly but i did play to pay two to four dollars for these and i'm not mad about them but like i said i sell eyelashes for four dollars and the quality is way better but i did like these lashes because this isn't a style that i would typically reach for or typically go for but it was the nicest style i felt that they had on their website and that's why i grabbed them and i really really like them so i just wanted to pop in and go ahead and show you guys how this foundation and everything wore I did get super oily and that's saying a lot for my skin type, but everything else pigmentation wise lasted super great. Eyeshadows, blush, highlighter, everything. So go ahead and get back to your outro. So yeah, you guys, that is everything for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see any more One Brand tutorials, please go ahead and comment a brand down below. I am working on LA Girl as well as NYX, but NYX is so expensive, so NYX might be a while, but I am currently working on so, um, and Juvia's Place, so those two are coming because Juvia's Place is actually really cheap and their website always has sales, so go ahead and check them out. Full face of Juvia's Place is coming soon. So, yeah, if you guys have any more, um, video suggestions, please go ahead and leave that down in the comment box. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.